Rules by the FDA aim to crack down on unscrupulous businesses that are offering unproven and unregulated stem cell treatments to desperate patients. Our investigative reporter Katie Legrone spent years profiling questionable clinics. She has the latest on federal efforts to protect consumers seeking relief without losing it all. Long considered the medicine of tomorrow. It's actually pretty freaking amazing. The FDA describes stem cell therapies as treatments that may offer the potential to treat diseases or conditions for which few treatments exist. But after years of misleading claims by some promising the sick and diseased, unproven and often unregulated treatments, an FDA grace period has ended, making it now easier for the feds to identify shady clinics and manufacturers trying to cash in on the stem cell hype. Stem cells are little fertilizer trucks spreading fertilizer. Internist Dr. Robert Dean offers combination stem cell therapy at his clinic in Tampa. Stem cell therapy regenerative medicine works. He's also now registered with the FDA to sell these treatments as an investigational new drug, or IND. The filing period, which began in 2017 and just ended this month, allows the feds to track who's offering stem cell treatment what they're selling, and to whom. Dean believes it will clean up an industry we first discovered in our 2018 undercover investigation that's plagued with as much deceit as it has promise. When you put them in your knees, you just turn into the Hulk. People are now much more critical of what supposed practitioners are trying to sell them. While the FDA has issued at least 400 warning letters to stem cell manufacturers and clinics who may be offering illegal products, since 2017 the agency has filed just two injunctions, one of them against a Florida-based stem cell clinic we questioned after several of its patients went blind. They've made a significant dent, but it, more can definitely be done. Which is why Dr. Zubin Master, a bioethicist at the Mayo Clinic focused on regenerative medicine, believes a more global approach is needed. He recently co-authored this report calling on the World Health Organization to get involved. Master believes setting global standards for stem cell therapy will help better regulate the industry worldwide. That would be one way that a regulatory approach I think would be more effective. So sort of going after the big fish. Going after more fish. <laughs> in a field of medicine still offering so much hope. One way you can screen if a provider is in compliance with these new rules, ask that clinic for proof that they've submitted their application to the FDA to sell these investigational new drugs. Katie Legrone, back to you.